Welcome back to Dinosaur Island Revival. Our beginning starts here with the young Argentinosaurus. It's still down here. It's thriving, thriving quite well. But he is not the only dinosaur here. He sees the other one. And that dinosaur is a Argentinosaurus. Plus, one of his kind has been down here. And he got, he was, you're probably wondering how he got down here. He got down here when he was migrating with his other kind. And there was a terrible rainstorm hitting, and he, and he did not find his herd again. And it happened about two days ago. As you can see, he's kind of clumsy, but he is not that clumsy. He can still walk. Then he sees the other Argentinosaurus. Argentina. So he gets over. And they start meeting. And also, I misspoken he. This one is a she. And this one is a male. I misspoken. This one is not a he. It's a she. I know I already said that. But I'm just letting you know. Just in case. And also, there's kind of, of a fog here. Well, not really a fog. Just somehow foggy. But probably up there, it's probably not foggy. But danger is always near. The Velociraptor den, right over there, is the threat that they do not know. But a other long neck dinosaur is here and migrated here. And that we shall see right now. The dinosaur that made that footstep that you should know. That is a long neck. Brachiosauruses are very common on this side of the island and they happen to bring a young one which the colourful one is the male and the green one is the female and this one is a male and this is the brother of him And the footsteps brings the dinosaurs attention as they are very loud. Even the predators look. 
a dimetrodon is looking at the amazing herbivores and when they have offspring he might have an idea as the intelligent carnivores will have to look As the young one is scared, his big brother will have to look. And he sees the coolest thing he has seen all year for now. And he has Follow this dinosaur for today for a while. This is a dimetrodon. As I mentioned earlier, when he saw the coolest, well, he just saw something cool that he haven't seen for a while. Even the dimetrodon has a type of infection in his mouth. The type of infection is in his mouth and somehow some carnivore pulled it out. That's right. No tongue. But somehow it can still make noises. 